Penalties would be increased for snowmobile and boat drivers for operating while intoxicated. That's under a bill that would link drunk driving arrests. OWI citations for recreational vehicles currently don't show up in the same system as for cars. Political reporter Jessica Arp explains more about the new bill. Jess? Well, this bill, which was also tried at the Capitol a few years ago, is aiming to send a message that drunk driving while on a snowmobile or an ATV is just as serious as in a car. It's the luxury of living in Wisconsin, being able to boat and snowmobile within a span of months. But while the activities can be combined, law enforcement says the citations, if you're drunk behind the wheel, are not. I think there's a loophole with the DNR violation versus a motor vehicle violation. The DNR gives and tracks OWI citations on snowmobiles or boats. State law enforcement stops drivers on the state's roads. But the penalties for each are different, and the records aren't tracked together. Across several different types of vehicles, you could have a first offense among four different types of vehicles, and none would be considered a repeat offense. So Republican Representative Andre Jacques has brought back a bill that failed to pass in 2012 that would link citations across recreational vehicles and automobiles and also increase penalties for OWI on boats and snowmobiles, including absolute sobriety for drivers under 21 to align the laws of the land with the rules of the road. Well, I think they all have the same potential to be deadly. The Dane County Sheriff agrees. To me, they are not different. Driving a motor vehicle whether it's an all-terrain vehicle, a snowmobile, or a boat, is the same as getting behind a 1,000-pound car and driving drunk. Now, we asked both the president of the Dane County Snowmobile Club and the Association of Wisconsin Snowmobile Clubs what they thought of this bill. In both cases, they said they had not taken a position on the bill at this point and would be talking with their organizations in the coming days. It's unclear, though, the future that this may have in the legislature in 2012. It didn't even get to the point where it got a vote in committee. We'll see what happens this time around. Jessica Arp in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Jess.